Marilyn Mosby's trial is moving out of Baltimore and down to Greenbelt. That transition ordered by the court six weeks before the trial is scheduled to begin. The federal judge granted a renewed defense motion for a change of venue after Mosby's team argued pre-trial publicity has impacted the jury pool significantly more here in the Northern Division in Baltimore than the Southern. You gotta move it to protect Mosby's rights, the defense argued. The government attacked the defense expert analysis as flawed and set up to find bias. The judge did not address that critique in her ruling from the bench but did say this, quote, the defense has shown pre-trial publicity to a degree has had an impact. And there is one result that sticks out to the court that 45% in the Northern Division had heard about Marilyn Mosby in the case. And by comparison, only 26% of respondents in the Southern. And the change of venue was just the start. Other wins for the defense followed, including a defense request that was granted to sever the case, split the four charges into two separate trials. The defense said it was necessary because Mosby wants to testify. She wants to take the witness stand to defend herself in part of the case, but not the other part. And the judge agreed. The, the defense also wanted the perjury trial to go first, so the judge did too. So she scheduled the perjury trial to begin with jury selection October 31st. The mortgage fraud trial goes second. Today, the court was also told that Nick Mosby is not a witness in this first perjury case, but that he could potentially be called to testify in the trial on the mortgage fraud charges. Reporting live outside U.S. District Court in Baltimore tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.